We humans don't seek perfection. We seek psychological comfort, number one. But number two, we seek validation. If validation is, is something as simple as, oh, you know what, that's a good point. And that means so much to me that you would say that, even though you may disagree with it. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the show today. We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. Every person that you talk to, you talk to them differently because each person interacts with the world differently. You know, Johnny, in many ways, you're like my sister, Terry, and I, and I love her. She, she comes into, into a room and she's talking to everybody and, and she engages everybody, you know, and, and, and I, I'm, I'm kind of shy. I go from one person to, to the other and so forth, but she can engage a whole room and people love to be around her and, and so forth. And we have to learn that each person talks differently, interacts differently, has different comfort levels, um, you know, our spatial differences, the cadence at which we c communicate, uh, the energy of, you know, if, if I'm talking about this, if you're talking about music, you're going to talk about it with a certain energy. Like earlier, we were talking about uh, jazz, you know, and, and you're you're arching your eyebrows. So those are the exclamation points, and you're you're excited uh, uh, about it. Each person, we have to learn that um, there's a benefit to talking to to each one, engaging that energy. Um, on a, on a similar plane. You know, I, I always say synchrony is harmony. And, and if we can achieve that, you know, if you want to have a quiet moment with me, we're going to have a quiet moment. And if we're going to, you know, get excited about something, then, then let's get excited. But to observe, you know, to detect that, you have to be able to observe it. And I think that's where you guys shine, is that you can observe, hey, this is this person's personality. And I'm sure you see it, you know, in, in when you're doing your live instruction and, you know, as you call people up, oh, th this, this person, uh, you know, he's shy, he needs to be brought up, or, oh boy, you know, this is Mr. Theatrical or, <laughs> you know, wh whatever. Um, but that's one of the things that I wish was, was taught more often. Um, especially now, you know, where, where we have more, uh, we have more executives, frankly, more uh, more leaders who uh, are on the autism spectrum, and um, I, I I know of a few of them, and and they have, they're they're mild on that, but you have to approach them differently. You have to talk to them. Oh differently. yeah, and if we don't learn that, if we don't. Uh, learn to um, to have that respect and um, and and also be aware of culture um, that uh, we we're harming ourselves because in the end that's who we're harming we're not we're not harming other other people we harm we're really harming ourselves yeah well I love that you brought that up because that's what we mean by the art of it <laughs> everyone would love just a uh, one page, one sheet, crack the code. <laughs> How do I instantly build rapport with someone? How do I make them a lifelong friend? Yeah. And it's the art of it. It's understanding, hey, what are they not sharing about their college experience? Right. What did they do when they looked away when you brought up jazz? Was there discomfort there? Maybe they're unfamiliar right. with it. You know, that level of observation and curiosity is really what fuels these exceptional communicators leading to this third trade of understanding that everyone wants to be valued. Everyone wants to be validated and feel heard. And if you're not observing, you're not gonna be an exceptional communicator.
We drop great content each and every week, and we want to make sure that you guys get notified. And in order to do that, you're going to have to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you've gotten a lot of value out of this, make sure you give us a like and share our videos with your friends. So valuable, that point, that we humans don't seek perfection. We seek psychological comfort, number one. But number two, we seek validation. And validation, uh, I, I know you know this, Johnny. Validation is, is something as simple as, oh, you know what? That's a good point. And that means so much to me that you would say that, even though you may disagree with it. It's the, fa you know, when I look at failure to validate, especially intentional, when I see managers who fail to validate people, who absolutely, I, I, you know, I just read a book on Humphrey Bogart, um, and I wanted to see, you say, Joe Navarro, <laughs> body language guy? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I, I wanted to see what it was like it, when the old studio system existed. These guys would sign up, literally, for seven-year contracts. Humphrey Bogart had a 15-year contract with, with uh, that's, one what one fifth of your life <laughs> in, in those days and you know they're they're signing their 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 lives away but what did they want the most they wanted validation <laughs> they wanted to be validated and we and we forget the importance of it um they had money but it was if, if you asked these these old stars what what did you really value you know for a, a studio executive to say hey you know you're helping us make 56 movies a year and uh we we want to thank you for that i l love this and in our classes, we talk about the value that you're giving in, a, in any social situation yeah. and, and in an interaction. And the value, we define value as attention, approval, and acceptance, mm -hmm. which is, um, it's a very simple thing, but we all crave it. And you mentioned, and I love this term, I'm going to have to steal it, but it's the failure to validate and the consequences of that, fal that failure to validate. And this is... What's great about it, everyone is so worried in interactions. Or I think it's easy to think about how do I get something out of this for myself, right. which makes then every interaction increasingly difficult because you're asking for something and you're trying to get something rather than focusing on the other person. And we've always said the answers for every one of your questions in the interaction or in the other person. So you need to be present and focusing on them with your listening skills. And, yeah. I, and I just love that because, and, and you stated it, validation is such a simple thing, but it has such a profound effect on how the other person feels about hanging out with you, about spending time with you. And I want to unpack one thing you shared there, Joe, because this is so key. And this is a, a misconception that many in our audience and our clients have around validation. Mm -hmm. You can validate without agreeing. Oh yeah. That's a great point. I've never thought of that. That doesn't mean you agree with the direction they're going. And I stumbled across one of your recent articles promoting the book mm -hmm. around this exact thing, that it's important whether you're interrogating someone or you're just trying to build a friendship, yeah. that we're not in this constant disagreement and I'm right, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Actually valuing someone else's opinion and then shifting to your opinion is far more effective than telling someone you're wrong, shutting them down, proving to them all the ways that they haven't thought through something. Yeah. But that nuance is lost on many people when they hear validation. They hear, oh, I have to be a people pleaser. I just have to be really agreeable. I have to sacrifice my own wants, needs, and desires to make other people like me. Yeah. And that's just not true. That's not what we mean by validation. You're, you're both exactly right. In, in fact, that article, the lead author on that was, uh my business partner, Anna Marcha Oud, because she runs into this in, in her business in, in Europe. And, and it's true. People think that validation means acquiescence, that if you validate others, then you're basically becoming their chew toy. No, <laughs> no, you're not. When you validate others, 
It is, it, is, it is the ethical thing to do. They have a point. We listen to their point. We uh, try to understand their perspective. And I've, you know, I've done this. I've sat next to criminals who have done really bad things. And they're explaining things, okay? I am validating what they are saying. Yes, I, I can see that, okay. That was a bad mistake. I, I understand that. But that doesn't mean I yield. That doesn't mean I, 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 at the end of it all, I say, yeah, but you're still going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but you, it's a, because it's not great a, points. I get those it. Those are great points. And, you know, and I think a trial, I mean, I've literally said this maybe 10 or 12 times over my career. I said, you know, I think a trial those might be useful points for, for, for you to make. But, we're, but you're still going to prison. Because, you know, society just, you know, frowns upon bank robberies. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, 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 validation is what you don't realize is the power of validation. That by listening to others that especially in relationships and in the workplace your children come to you they uh, acclaim i did this okay you give them that that validation that uh, th that's really interesting how did you do that right so the first a lot of times you you know they come in is hey i built this fort oh good boy and then off they go that's that's really not validation. Here's what validation sounds like. How did you do that? So by yourself, you gathered up these things and, you know, the, the twigs and the sand and you made this, the, the, this castle. How did you put that in your mind? How did you put that together, right? Now we're, now we're validating because we're using that, that, that sweet component called benign curiosity. Okay, so now we're making this person, we're, we're elevating this person. Yeah, but we're elevating ourselves. <laughs> we're elevating ourselves because that person grows to trust us.